Hi friends, today I'm going to make this beautiful fall card for all of you. I'm using this card base, the white card base, a shimmery brick red card stock. And I'm using another white cut out um, card base, like a sheet for printing or stamping all the leaves for today. I'm using this tailored uh, expression stamp set. I'm using the maple leaf stamp from that stamp set. I'm uh, uh, going to use all distressed inks and I'm starting with the spiced mumlet today. I'm inking the maple leaf stamp really um, nicely so that I can get multiple impressions out of one inking. As you can see, I'm, I'm um, stamping it multiple times. Um, so I'm inking it again here. I'm going to stamp it three more times. So that way I can get a depth or a dimension in the card. As you can see, the first impression is nice and dark. The second or the third goes lighter, giving it more depth. You know, illusion that the darker ones appear in the front and the lighter ones are falling behind. The second color I'm using is aged mahogany, which is a beautiful maroonish color. And I'm again doing the same technique here. This is a beautiful um, technique to be used for anyone starting out who's new to stamping and who's getting all intimidated by all this because all you need is a few card stocks and one stamp and a few ink pads. You can stamp this randomly. As you can see, I'm just going randomly inside. I'm not uh, having any calculations or any patterns. The third color I'm switching to is mustard seeds, which is um, a yellow. Um, as you can see, the orange, yellow, brown um, fall color combination is very, very beautiful. I'm really enjoying, you know, st having random stamping to do and I don't have to think too much. When you want to make multiple thank you cards for all your friends and family um, during the holiday season, I think this is a perfect card to give out because you don't have to do, you know, too much thinking and too much planning out. You can just go randomly. This is a beautiful green color I'm using called Pine Needle. I'm all, I'm using all distress inks today um, because it, it has all the nice colors A and B. You can use um, some water. You can uh, uh, splash some water at the end of the card and you can give this nice muddy watery effect that the fall colors usually have. As you can see, this gives the illusion of some leaves are behind you know, the others which are darker, which appear to be darker, uh, lying on the top. So that's why I like to stamp it multiple times. If you do not like to overlap a color on top of the other, it's fine. You can stop it right here. But I kind of like the muddy look. So I went ahead and stamped the um, brushed corduroy, which is a nice brown, on top of some of the uh, leaves that are already stamped to give the muddy overlapped look. You can even use the misty tool if you want if uh, to go ahead and do a multiple number of like um you know if you want to do more number of the same kind of cards you can do you can use the misty tool as well but i feel this is a great um way to just nicely enjoy yourself while you're making a beautiful card like the fall colored leaves this is tea dye um the stamp set and i'm just going ahead and filling out little gaps that i can see and I feel that this will fit beautifully inside. And this again gives that watery effect because my ink pad is nice and juicy. Um, finally, I'm going to stamp my, um, I'm sorry, I'm just cleaning my um, matte work surface. And I'm going to, instead of stamping my um, sentiment for the day, I decided to go with some of the um, embellishments that I had. And I love this coat. Um, that I happen to have uh, in my stash. So I'm using this quote which says, Every leaf speaks bliss to me, fluttering from the autumn tree. It's a beautiful quote and I, I, feel, I feel it fits perfectly for the today's card. I'm finally gluing uh, down the uh, card that I finished with the um, uh, brick red shimmery cardstock just to give another uh, layer to it and just to, you know, uh, bring more focus to the card. I'm just trying to center it and finally I'll be gluing this card stock to the ca white card base that I first showed you. 
It's a very simple and easy to do card. It's quick, fun. Um, you can have, you can add, do different other combinations of colors. I'll show you another card that I had done previously using totally different distress inks colors. I used some um, crushed olives. Um, I used, um, I think, scattered straw. Here is a, here is the other card, and I stamped my sentiment here, saying thank you. And the maple leaf itself was different in that card. I had a lot of fun <coughs> making these two cards, so I hope you enjoy it too. Here is the beautiful gold stamp sentiment. If you enjoyed today's card, don't forget to subscribe and leave a comment below. See you in the next video.